hello everyone welcome back to my channel computer tips and programming so in today's video we are going to know about the string this is a string is a small topic but very important and basic topic to know for everyone because we are going to perform many operations with strings and before this i have just explained you about the input and output stream so this is also very important topic for the live task and uh, the topic which are uh, we are going to handle it today the it string this is also very important because this is a hundred plus percent hundred plus you can say anything this is a very important topic and uh, every time we used to handle with this so before going to start this topic let me tell you when i have used this concept uh, in our live projects when I, I i used to do live projects when so one day uh, we got one project uh, that was a url based project and uh, we have to handle with some urls and in this url there was uh, some parameters in url there was some parameter like username password date and uh, like id and these all things were mentioned in the url itself so how we were handling this one because you know the date if i want to fetch the data as per date so we need to change the date every time so we need to pass the date dynamically we cannot pass it statically so how we handle these things i will explain you through this also let me tell you how i handle this and i will explain this in because i have mentioned all those points uh, how so what are the uh, operations we performed so what we did now we just uh, separate we just divide the url our url in different different parts like base url date uh, date portion and the uh, username password portion and then the id portion like this we divided and we make the u username password date id all the dynamic and then after making them dynamic we combine all the things like base url plus username password date id these all things we combine and make a uh, new variable so all the things i have did here okay and whenever you go to perform the live task that time you need to uh, handle with these things so uh, see here i have created one char array okay and the char that's a character string i have mentioned in one variable and the type is a char array okay and i have mentioned pass some values also like uh, you can see in the array bucket there is a s t r i n g so string is a type of variable okay we can say string is a type of variable where we are passing some character value okay or char set value in the double quote single quote okay so here you can say an uh, array of character okay and uh, now i have passed this also why i pass this because if i want to get the variable from the keyboard so what i will do so i, I have passed this scanner is can go to new scan system dot in and i have already explained about this you so without passing time come to our main topic string okay so uh, if i want that uh, the char value character value okay char array value in a string format what i will do so for this i will do a string i will create one variable str and the type will be string and i will type here new string because i want a new string from where i want i want the character array okay so char array is our character string is our char array okay so i will pass here char string and the value which uh, comes in this okay like uh, your array value it will become like a string and then i have print the value here okay so let me run this one and see run as java application and you can see here the value of str is string it came from string and it's all combined and came to string now i have uh, make this condition like i if i want the our string value okay from uh, our keyboard so in that case i have written like scanner okay system dot in so let me pass the value okay i am passing here character or uh, a anything you can pass like uh, i will pass my name itself you can pass your name also like avinash i have passed it here okay or uh, anything let me pass the computer and cp anything cp and p computer tips and programming okay i have passed your cp cp computer tips and programming so it's very confusing <laughs> computer tips and programming why am this passing okay so it's not a problem why i am doing this uh, let me because i want to just give some ideas to you related to this like uh, we can change our string value in the same class that's why i am passing like this okay and how we can change see here i have passed the value ctnp computer tips and programming if i will enter it here here i am getting ctnp and then suddenly i got this value java string java string content how these values are coming and here i have defined all the str here also str real i have defined str only and the values are getting changed how it's getting changed let's come to the point okay so you can see it here first i define a string okay 
okay string gain then i change the value how i change the value i change the value by the help of the our keyboard so a string change to the ctnp okay here ctnp and again i am changing the ctnp value into another string so how i am changing just see this one see here i will just assign another value string i will assign another value so ctnp will be come to the java string okay if i want to concatenate if i am adding some another from our base string i am adding some another variable value okay so in that case what i will do i will use the concatenate and how we used to do concatenate simple you have to just pass plus sign okay and then your values okay so first values are our string that is string is a java string value then if i want to concatenate i will use the plus sign i want to concatenate this concatenate word okay and then i'm passing some space also so look it uh, uh, good okay so you can see here java string space and then concatenate this one came so you saw here the we are concatenating string and string if i want to concatenate string and integer in that case what i will do see here i have concatenate here uh, integer also so how i have i have did it just check it uh, see here i have defined one uh, another integral variable like num is our integer type variable and the value is 5 okay if i want to convert this integer into a string what i will do a string equal to s okay i have created one another variable s then a string dot value of um, okay so now our integer value will become like a string you can see it here it will become like a string and a string str i have created one new variable you can pass through last also but i want to make it uh, look clear and understandable So I have created one another variable str1, and str1 will be str. Str is your last value like is Java string concatenate, then space, and then the s. S is here five, like your integer value come to the string. Okay, so it will give the value like str1 will become like Java string concatenate five. Okay, so now you can see here what are the uh, operations we have performed. Just check see one time. We just convert array into string. then whatever array we have created the value then we change the value to another variable by using the keyboard and that value i change to the another variable okay by assigning then we concatenate string and string then we concatenate concatenate string and the your uh, integer okay so this operations we performed here and i hope you will like this video because it is very interesting and important topic every time whenever we are going for development we are just uh, used to do these basic things okay so that's all about today and we will see in another video in new concept so for now take care bye bye all the best